If you're not eating this food, you're missing out on a huge and cheap opportunity. Now, it all started when I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw Max Lugavere post this Instagram post talking about Greek yogurt. And then I started noticing a lot of other health experts talking about Greek yogurt too, which if you're not new here, you've seen me talk a lot about Greek yogurt. I use it in my smoothies. I even have a homemade Greek yogurt recipe and it's actually an insane weight loss tool. Let's dive into why health experts are suddenly obsessed with Greek yogurt and how you can actually use it to help you achieve your weight loss and wellness goals. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition, human performance. Now first the science, perhaps the most obvious one is that Greek yogurt is loaded with protein. Just one one cup of Greek yogurt has around 20 grams of protein. In fact, it's closely related cousin skier, which I think is how it's pronounced, is even more impressive with about 27 grams of protein per cup. And the fact that Greek yogurt is loaded with protein is something that should really perk your ears up if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal. Because protein is well known as the most important macronutrient when it comes to achieving a body recomposition goal. This is where you're losing body fat while maintaining or even increasing muscle mass. Even more notably, it helps you to feel full. And not that like icky, overly full feeling you might get after having like a big bowl of pasta or like an entire plate of nachos. I'm talking about hormonal fullness. This is where you actually just feel satisfied after a meal. You don't feel like you need to keep eating and it doesn't actually involve portion control or telling yourself that you need to stop. You just naturally want to stop eating. And from a hormonal perspective, this should last about three to four hours. Now you can probably see how this alone can really help with the weight loss goal because it eliminates the urge to snack, it eliminates sugar cravings, and it's essentially an internal portion control system that you don't even have to monitor. Instead, your brain and your GI tract do all of the work. So you feel better, you don't have to have discipline, and you can maintain your metabolic rate. Okay, and then we have more specifically the research on full fat dairy products like Greek yogurt and weight loss. A lot of people think of dairy as fattening, especially the full fat variety, but the truth is actually mind-blowingly the exact opposite. Multiple studies have now found that there's actually an inverse relationship between eating full fat dairy products and obesity and weight gain. This means that people who tend to eat more full fat dairy products are less likely to be obese or have abdominal or belly fat. And at this point you're probably like, okay, okay, sounds great, but what about saturated fat? Isn't that a problem? Weight loss is fantastic, but not if it gives me heart disease in the process. Well, it turns out that multiple meta-analysis, which is basically one study that analyzes a lot of other studies, reviewed the impact on saturated fat and heart disease and found that there's no correlation between saturated fat and heart disease. Even more specifically, another study found that full fat dairy products did not increase cardiovascular risk. And at this point, you should be saying like, cool, 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 weight loss, maintain muscle mass, feel full and satisfied, no correlation of heart disease. But like, I get really bloated eating dairy products. And this is even more specifically what's really, really great about Greek yogurt because Greek yogurt is fermented. Now, why this matters is because what typically causes bloating for most people when it comes to dairy products is lactose. That's the milk sugar. So if you're to just drink an entire jug of milk, that is very rich in lactose. And if you're lactose intolerant, then you will likely get very bloated. But when a dairy product is fermented, those lactose sugars break down, which means that it's not available to cause bloating in your GI tract. And Greek yogurt is a fermented dairy product, which means that there's really only trace amounts of lactose in Greek yogurt. So most people who are even lactose intolerant can tolerate Greek yogurt really well. And, 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 and on top of all of that, Greek yogurt is relatively really cheap, especially considering you can make it a complete meal by just adding some berries and nuts on top. Some common full fat varieties like Faye, I think that's how it's pronounced, come in at about $1.27 per serving. Granted, to make it a complete meal, you're going to have to actually probably have about a serving and a half or two servings, but even then at most that brings it to $2.40 per serving. Now from there, there are additional perks if you were to go like the grass fed or pasture raised route where you'd get the additional heart and bone health perks because of the vitamin K2. But if you're purely looking for a great health food option to support your weight loss goals, it can still be pretty cheap. Now there are different types of Greek yogurt and this is important for you to listen to because you need to make sure you're choosing the right one if you do have a weight loss goal. And I'm actually going to three different grocery stores to show you three different types of Greek yogurts that you can use in different price ranges. But before we do that, if you guys are liking this video so far, it would really mean the world to me if you give this video a thumbs up. It's a free way to support 
support this channel so that I can keep creating more content just like this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so for the first stop, I wanted to go to a grocery store option that pretty much everybody has access to. So I headed over to Target. Now, what we're looking for in these different Greek yogurts for specifically a weight loss goal is that it has zero added sugars. It has zero fruits added in. This is usually where they sneak in a lot of added sugar in the form of syrups and that it's not low fat. Remember in the research, it's the whole fat dairy options that are inversely related to obesity. So we want the full fat option. So here's what I was able to find at Target. Now, one thing I want to point out here, you'll see that there's two different sugars on the nutrition facts. There's sugars and there's added sugars. The regular sugars is not something that you need to be concerned about because they're counting the lactose. That's the natural milk sugar. And that's not even a real reflective count of the milk sugar because remember a lot of it is actually fermented down. So this sugar number doesn't actually really act like sugar. So you don't need to be concerned about it. The one that you do want to take a look at is the added sugars. This is the sugar that has obviously been added in, usually in the form of cane sugar, maybe high fructose corn syrup, whatever it might be. These are the sugars we want to avoid. So if it says sugars, that's fine. It's the added sugars you want to make sure that you're avoiding. And you can see that this brand comes in a couple different options of zero fat, 2%, 5% fat. The percent fat really just means the total percentage of fat in the product, not necessarily if it's a full fat product or not. So to make this easier for you, just look for the highest percentage possible that's also unsweetened or plain. In this case, it's the 5%. And look out for the brands that really only contain non-fat. As you can see at Target, there are quite a few of those. In fact, at a lot of different grocery stores, there's going to be a lot of non-fat Greek yogurt options. But remember, the full fat is what you want if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal for those extra satiety perks. Bye, Target. <laughs> So I stopped by two different health food stores. The first one is Trader Joe's. I noticed that Trader Joe's has a lot of those different flavored options. So make sure you watch out for those because the flavored options are typically going to be loaded with sugar. You want to opt for instead at least the plain or unsweetened option hopefully also full fat or at least the highest fat option you can find. And then Whole Foods, I think has like two or three different options. Here are some of my favorites. It's also typically easier to find full fat Greek yogurt options at health food stores. I usually recommend going for those bigger jugs so that you can actually measure out how much you need dependent on your protein needs. Usually those single servings are only going to be about 14 to 15 grams of protein, which for most people is just not enough for a complete meal. So you get more bang for your buck when you go for those larger containers of Greek yogurt. Or you could do what I you and make your own Greek yogurt. It's actually a lot easier than it sounds. I've been doing this for like a year and a half now and it saves me like four or $500 a year. And it allows me to use the full fat grass fed milk options too. So if you wanna test out making your own Greek yogurt, I will have that video linked down description below. Now Greek yogurt is really easy to use to add into a bunch of different types of meals for your weight loss journey. One of my favorite ways is to add it into smoothies, especially if you're not particularly a fan of Greek yogurt, you think it's like too tangy. This is a great way to get all of those perks of Greek yogurt, but mask it with other flavors like from the berries or peanut butter into a smoothie. It also helps to make the smoothie really nice and creamy. I love it, definitely give that a shot. And then the other really obvious option is to just eat it on its own, but you will wanna make sure to make it a complete meal that you're eating at least about a cup's worth. This will give you around 20 grams of protein, which for some of you might be enough, but others might need even more than that. So a little hack you can do here if you don't wanna eat like two cups worth of Greek yogurt is that you can add in like one or two scoops of protein powder. This does two things. If you're using a zero sugar protein, like my zero sugar protein powder, you get the vanilla or chocolatey flavor and the extra protein without any sugar. And then from there, you'll just wanna add on some type of high quality fat, like peanut butter or nuts or seeds, and maybe some low sugar fruits like raspberries. And then you have a very simple, easy on the go meal. In fact, if you wanna test out one of my latest amazing, delicious smoothie recipes that uses Greek yogurt, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. We've got new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.